Good morning. Hello. When did you get in? Earlier. Earlier? Are you ready? What are we doing today? We're going out to the strip. We're going to be talking to strangers. Are you prepared? Like Not mentally? At all. Not at all. Good morning. Hi, what are you up to? I am editing Vlogmas. Did you have a, like a hard time transitioning to the workforce after graduating? Yeah, so my, my transition out of college was fairly simple because in my major, which was like computer engineering, computer science related, uh, internships was like the most important thing. And so I got really lucky and fortunate. I worked really hard in college and I got an internship my sophomore year uh, at a pretty big company. And then the next year I got even luckier and got a job at an even bigger company. I constantly felt like I was just out of place. Um, I had pretty major imposter syndrome because I went to a public school and everyone around me that got hired, all the other, all the other interns, they were all from Ivy League. So I definitely felt like I was not the smartest person in the room. And so I actually slept on my desk every day. Uh, I worked like 16 to 20 hour days because I just didn't feel like I was good enough. It was one of the most stressful summers of my life, but it was ultimately really, really worth it because I got, I didn't have to worry about a job after I got out of college. I, I worked so hard during an internship because I really, really wanted to work for this company. And then I got really lucky and I got a full-time offer. But it was tough, it was very tough. I know exactly what we're doing today. We're talking to people and getting rejected, baby! <laughs> Everyone hates the feeling of getting rejected, so the best way to get over it is just to get rejected a million times. Wait, I just realized he and Tiffany still aren't here yet, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, so that means there's a. Uh... No girls! <laughs> See, this is for you. I know you don't like the cups upside down. Ah, uh, let's keep the hat cabinets open. Ah! Because there was a parking lot that says you cannot back into the spot. Oh, so <laughs> back into the spot one time, right? Yeah. And uh, he got a ticket for it. And so then um, he's like, okay, I'm gonna screw with them. So he has a two front facing both sides car. So it looks like he backed into it, right? So the parking guy comes in, the meter mate, he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> What kind of situation here? Can you tie my shoes? I'm looking for the most interesting response. I don't care. Yeah. I don't really care. Who yeah, we're not really. We're not trying to get <coughs> for rejection. I can that can be like. A yeah, because I've seen yeah. tons of cringe videos of like socially awkward dudes actually yeah. going out and like doing stuff like yeah. this and just failing. Yeah, I just want like fun interactions with people. Good morning. Good morning. Wait, it's not even morning. It's 3:22 oh. p.m. <laughs> Um, we had really low energy yesterday, so today we're gonna try and give you guys 115%. Because we realized how, <laughs> how dead we all sound. <laughs> we are driving to South Congress, which is kind of like downtown Austin. There's a lot of really cute shops and plenty of stuff to eat and, and ice see. cream. Ice cream! Yeah, so we're going on an adventure. Yay! And we're all in matching black nude black. vibes. Black nude. <laughs> We're getting ice cream. I'm getting the 
This is my ice cream. Hey guys, take a photo. Let's go. <laughs> We're smack dab in the middle of six streets. Smack dab. We're gonna get a little drunk. Ooh, except for me because we're responsible. We're gonna ask real questions. We're gonna get real and honest here. Who is your favorite member in Red Door? Wait, that's not a truth or truth. <laughs> I have an answer. Myself. <laughs> okay. is Ronnie. Ronnie! Uh, cut two pictures of Ronnie on our living room couch. smelliest in the house. I've never smelled them. <laughs> if you could switch places with one person in Red Door for a week, who would it be and why? Lewis. Why Lewis? Because he can beatbox and sing. I would just beatbox all day. I would say Brandon so I can walk in the treadmill all day and lose all my weight. <laughs> If you could set up a Red Door HQ Part 2 anywhere in the world, where would you go next? Austin, Texas! Austin, Texas! <laughs> Let's make it happen. She's asking the right questions. It's an interview. Cheers. 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 Cheers.